Today, let me introduce to you Nigeria's worst airline of all time. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, meet Airpeace, the airline with no peace. After an exciting week flying domestically in Africa's most populous country, trying out different airlines, I came to the conclusion that Airpeace is by far the most unreliable, unpunctual, unprofessional and unsafest airline in Nigeria, maybe even in all of Africa. It doesn't come much as a surprise, since the airline's CEO, Alan Onyema, is apparently a wanted criminal by the United States Department of Justice for bank fraud and money laundering. But if you think this flight was an isolated incident, you should wait for my ARP's 777 flight to Johannesburg with a 7 hour delay rioting passengers that tried to storm the plane which couldn't depart because it was out of fuel. Fueling. Probably the most dramatic flight. Right of now the year. we've not been able to secure fuel. Today, join me on a trip from Abuja to Kano with a stop in Lagos. And let me give you plenty of reasons why you should avoid the not so peaceful airline Air Peace at all costs. So what do you do with it? SS for you. Welcome to Kano. <laughs> what a flight. Guys, beautiful good morning from the heart of Nigeria. I'm in Abuja right now and it's another day. And it's another domestic trip here in Nigeria, flying to Lagos and from Lagos up to Kano on Nigeria's biggest and most successful airline, so they say, Air Peace. They're very interesting. I have a lot of stories to share today. But for now, let's grab my bag and let's head to the airport. Awesome. Thank you, eh? Hi, sir. Thank you. See, man, thank you. How are you doing? You good? To the airport. Okay. Uh, domestic. Okay, domestic? Yeah. Look, they're all waiting for petrol, hey? Yes. There's no gas in this country. No petrol. You have so much oil in this country. So much. And what do you do with it? Excess oil. You sell it. Boss. <laughs> Excess. It's, it's, it's an ocean. <laughs> You have more oil than anybody else in uh, yes. Africa. Yes, yeah. excess oil. Everybody should be rich in Nigeria. No, no, no. The reverse is the case, boss. The what are they doing with the money? Oh, our, 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 our leaders are terrible. Yeah? Our leaders. They put it all in their own pocket. <laughs> Naughty boys. Not all. <laughs> Not all. They're good oh. and bad. All, all. <laughs> Look at the queue. Yeah. Nigerians should rise. <laughs> our leaders, they are terrible. Yeah. Very, very horrible. Very horrible. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Hey. After a highly entertaining chat with my driver, we then arrived at a domestic terminal. And very little did I know that I'm about to face one of the worst check-in experiences of my life. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you, sir. God bless you. Thank you, sir. Safe trip. God bless you. It was thank nice you, meeting All you. Right, thank Take you. care. Thank you. So guys, and here we are at the domestic terminal of Abuja. At the check-in, I faced madness. Cool as staff, lots of upset and angry passengers. And it seemed like that nobody knew how to do their job. From this moment, I could tell that I'm going to Can't travel on one of Africa's uh, most unprofessional airlines. So what's the problem? They can't check in or what? It's like, they still have my phone as well. Please, attend to us now. Sorry about it. Yeah. Like, I don't know, they, they're not even able to issue my ticket. Yeah. I don't know what's happening there. They, I, I don't think they know what they're doing. I was already in the queue. Yes, they, know the case, yeah. they can't issue my ticket. I don't know. They don't know what they're doing. Please concentrate and let's leave this place. Did they check you in? Did it work? <laughs> no, no, no. Have a, have a good flight, hey? Sorry. All right, so I'm good to go now, yeah? Yes, for this flight, please. Twelve o'clock, twelve ten. Yeah, but what about the other uh, the other one at, at fourteen, which yeah. I booked on? Twelve o'clock. They're moving from that one. To so the the two p.m. flight is cancelled. I don't know. What no, I no, no. Okay, let me check because I'm not booked on that flight. Okay, hold on. Is there anyone from uh, Air Peace? They put me on the wrong flight. Hey, my friend. How are you? You put me on the wrong flight. Uh, 
They already took my bag. It's probably going to go on the on the wrong flight. Huh? You have it. I don't have anything. I know my bag is gone. I might go on a different flight. They load it. I'm not on board. They will offload it. You delay the flight. They could just have given me a boarding pass for my original flight. Sorry, we wouldn't have an issue if it would have all worked in the beginning. I'm sorry. Okay, I hope you find my bag. You should rename from Air Peace to Air Drama. <laughs> Good one, eh? Come again. Thanks for the help, though. I appreciate that. It has a wrong tech, my bag, right now. I hope it's going to make it to Lagos. I'll remember your face if it's gone. Thank you so much, eh? Jesus Christ. So much drama, so much drama. I'm gonna tell you all about it once I'm uh, past security. So guys, that was literally the worst check-in experience of my life. So uncoordinated and clueless, it's unbelievable. First of all, they couldn't deal with the fact that I had a connecting flight from uh, Lagos to Kano with the same airline, right? They could literally just check my bag through or they could at least tell me that I could pick it up. Anyways, it took forever to get the boarding pass. I was handed it back with my phone, but there was such a crowd and so many people that I didn't really check the boarding pass. And all of a sudden, the luggage guy ran to me and he said, you gotta go, you gotta go, your flight is boarding soon. I said, what, my flight is like five past two. And he said, no, 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 look at your boarding pass. And he put me on a complete different flight. So I checked my boarding pass. I was like, it's not where I'm going. It's not where I'm supposed to go. And then uh, they were trying to figure out uh, how to change the boarding pass. They eventually did. However, now my luggage, they couldn't find my luggage. My luggage is tagged for a different flight and I have a new uh, baggage tag. So they don't know where my bag is and then I don't know whether they're gonna find my luggage and I'm gonna send it to Lagos. Jesus Christ, this is like the m most unorganized airline <laughs> of all time. So much drama and I still have two flights ahead of me. So I'm filming a bit more undercover here because usually in Nigeria, especially at the airports, they don't like cameras. So I was told off a few times yesterday. Um, now I'm in this massive area like of seating and there's only one gate. So they announce a flight. They don't even have boarding gates, uh, boarding signs here or uh, departure signs. Uh, so they just make an announcement. This flight is boarding right now, as you can see to uh, Benin, right in the back um, of me and then they call you whenever it's your turn. Um, I just don't want to lose my bag. That would be a worst case scenario. My life is in there. And as you can see, I was once again told off filming. But also on my way to the airport, I was told that air peace is always late. And surprise, surprise, the ground staff would announce a 90 minutes delay for our flight to Abuja. So I went to the gate and I thought, oh cool, we're boarding. Um, no, we're just told that the flight is delayed by 90 minutes. Still sitting here at the gate, not really knowing uh, what's going on and whether my flight is going to arrive, whether we're going to fly, when we are flying, where my back is. I have no idea. I patiently waited for the plane to arrive and with almost two hour delay, the Embraer 195 would finally arrive. Unfortunately, my camera was playing up while boarding, so I lost that footage. I hope you can forgive me. So guys, and here we are. Welcome on board the Embraer 195 of Airpiece. I'm also sorry that I wasn't able to record during boarding because my camera wasn't working. Usually a huge fan of the Embraer. They're spacious, they have decent leg room, they have nice big windows, and they're usually pretty well performing uh, as a regional jet so uh, I really like to see it looks fresh it isn't the cleanest to be honest but um, uh, so far so good and I just spotted a DC-3 right there I didn't know they're still flying did you know that that's pretty awesome but yeah we are two hours delayed by now um, don't know what I'm gonna get my connecting flight Airpiece is currently operating five Embraer 195 with another eight to join the fleet. The plane features universal power outlets, a foldable table, as well as 112 seats in economy class and 12 in a staggered configuration in business class. So regarding my bag, I have no idea where it is. It might be on this flight, I might have left on another flight, but I guess they would have called me out at the gate or some security would have tried to find me if they couldn't 
allocated. Adventure continues. And perhaps that's also a good time now to subscribe to my channel to not miss out on the rest of my Nigerian aviation tour. Thank you! So and welcome to the Louvre viewer right in the back of uh, the Embraer. Um, flight is very eventless, it's a 50, 50 minute flight and they're only serving water um, because of Covid restrictions at the moment. But this is the Louvre, looks a lot cleaner than uh, on Ebom Air. But uh, yeah, we'll see how that continues on the ground in Lagos because I think this is the weakness of the airline their ground stuff, the ground experience. On Sunday, I'll be flying Air Peace 777 to uh, Johannesburg. It's an old Emirates plane, uh, which I believe uh, Air Peace has two of them. They fly them to Johannesburg and to Dubai and soon to Mumbai and Guangzhou as well. And I've been so obsessed with that plane because any white body has most of the white bodies in Africa. They have pretty cool stories. So I can't wait to introduce that flight to you as well. So that's why you should subscribe right now if you don't want to miss out on that video as well. And I hope that this flight is going to go a little better. <laughs> but yeah, now let's uh, enjoy the landing in uh, Lagos. summarize my flight on air peace though. To be quite frank, an airline that doesn't even deliver the basics and seems to struggle to check in passengers should seriously question itself. But wait for my second flight as things turn even more bizarre. So they're sending very small buses. Do you remember the drama regarding my bag at the check-in in Abuja? Well, I eventually found my bag after searching the terminal, but the staff wouldn't give it to me since it had a wrong tag. So the struggle continued to get my suitcase back. It's it's my bag. They did put it wrong. They checked me in on the wrong flight. That's my bag. I can identify everything in there. That's the problem. They checked me in on the wrong flight and he couldn't find my bag. Ta-ta! My bag? <laughs> what did I win? Did I win a free flight with Air Peace? Emirates Notebook. Great. Do you believe me? Do you want it? Yeah. Yeah, good. Here, I have a sticker for you in my card. You can watch my videos on YouTube. Thank you, thank you so much. <laughs> did a good job. Can I go now? I have, to go, I have to get my flight to Kano. I have to go up there and check yeah, in, right? Uh, Air Peace. Kano. Right here? Awesome. All right. Checking in for Air Peace. Hello. No, not the last. The second last. Give me the second last. It's very nice of you. Thank you. So, all checked in, 29A to Kano, let's go. So guys, I made it, I checked in, received my bag. I'm like so surprised though that my luggage is allowed to fly without me because usually it gets offloaded, right? But maybe it's Africa, different rules, or maybe you can explain it to me. Let me know in the comment section uh, below, but yeah. It's been it's quite hot here in the terminal also it's like a smaller terminal it's not the main domestic terminal from where i left yesterday with ebom air it's like a small separated uh terminal it's really really tiny i think it's only for air peace it looks like it at least so um though it's <laughs> <laughs> it's such nonsense sometimes here and Nigeria I still love it it's it's a great adventure great aviation adventure also just watching the news right now and the Ukrainian uh, UN ambassador is just speaking uh, what a fight the Ukrainians put up hey makes me proud to be a quarter Ukrainian as well my grandmother 
is uh, from the Ukraine. World's on fire, isn't it? Uh, domestic traveling in Nigeria is madness. I feel for all Nigerians who message me on Instagram saying, yeah, that's what we deal with on a daily basis. Uh, anyway, I'm very happy that I don't have a flight tomorrow. Hey, is Kano, Kano boarding yet? No. So it's 7.25. We're supposed to be airborne already. But obviously, being AirPs, being always late, air late, <laughs> air late, air drama, uh, yeah. If you want, you can contribute to the nicknames we should give air peace in the comment section below. I love how their slogan is, uh, your peace is our goal. <laughs> Couldn't be further away from the truth. I don't know if we're ever going to leave, when we are going to leave, but air, air chaotic would be another name for air peace. We'll see how this uh, unfolds. And guess what? We are finally boarding. Very good, how are you? Are you Spanish? No, no, Spanish? Do I look Spanish? You, look Spanish. you have another guess. Are JJ you? Okocha played in my country. Is it German? Yes, yes, yes. Danke. <laughs> bitte, Danke. bitte. Nice meeting you, man. You take care. You too, bye. Yeah. Surprise, surprise, I was then boarding the exact same plane that took me to Lagos. Just with a different set of crew. Sir, you shouldn't enter, you should stay outside, not go in your hand. Hey, how are you? Very well, Very good, thank you. While boarding this flight, I encountered some of the grumpiest cabin crew, barking at every passenger, being unfriendly with zero appreciation for its paying customers at all. Another reason not to fly airplanes. But trust me, things are getting even worse. So, and here we are. Welcome on board. I think it's the exact same plane. It's not the 320. It is the Embraer 195. I think it's the same plane I took from uh, Abuja to Lagos. And crew is such a pain. So unfriendly. And I think they're so annoyed of the passengers as well. But yeah, so far, our piece is extremely underwhelming experience well though i have some good news for you i have the own i have a whole section of the plane actually to myself so this should make this should enhance my travel experience by 150 percent with another delay of almost two hours we made our way to the runway for our flight to Kano. The crew would literally disappear for the rest of the flight, playing on the phones, and they wouldn't even get the cabin ready for landing. A major safety hazard, but have a look yourself. So we're literally two minutes, three minutes before we touch down. Shocking, <laughs> crew never got the cabin ready for, for landing. And the worst thing is, I don't know whether you can see it, on the opposite row, is a little child sleeping there not secured so if we have like a rough or a hard landing or it slams the brakes really hard this kid is gonna fly around the cabin that is so irresponsible of the crew and that's what they've been doing the entire flight they've not been doing anything it was a bumpy flight they would never enforce the seatbelt sign etc etc so I don't know if you care about safety Airpiece is definitely not the airline for you. Shocking. So still taxiing and people lose through the cabin walking around. Crew does not give a shit. Shocking. But Welcome to Kano. <laughs> what a flight. So sleepy. So welcome to Kano, where you just walk from the plane into the terminal. We also got like a, a little snack box because you're not allowed to serve food during the, during the flight. And look at this. And this is Ajman Air. I'm gonna fly them in two days on the 737 to uh, Lagos. Everyone's snapping photos here. 
Yeah, that's gonna be my bird. So make sure you subscribe if you don't want to miss out on the Ajman Air review. It's probably gonna be another adventure. I love Nigeria. So also when I went on booking.com, there were only five hotels in uh, Kano. So yeah, let's see how that goes. I think there's a 747 over there. It is. Wow. An old retired 747, I reckon. Right there in the distance. All good? You're welcome. I need that one. Where is this camera? Huh? Camera? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. How, how, um, to, I have to go to Tahir Guest Palace, the yes, hotel. Right. How, how far is it from here? It's not too far. But uh, there's taxis outside, there's right? Taxis. How much is it, do you think? 5,000. 5,000? Okay, cool. Thank you. How much is it? Why are you going to Tahir Guest Palace. Just 5,000. Okay, that's fine. Okay. No, I keep that, I keep that. My life is in here. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Welcome to Kano. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How do you say welcome in your language? Sinu de zwa? Sinu de zwa? Everyone is smiling here. Thank you, yeah? Uh. Have, have a good night. Thank awesome. you so much. Awesome, awesome. Thank you. See ya. But yeah, guys, this is it. It was a really long day traveling domestically in Nigeria. A proper adventure. I enjoyed it because it's so unpredictable, but I also think Airpeace should think about a rebranding because it wasn't a very peaceful experience. It, it seems like a highly unprofessional airline. It's not really run by professionals, it feels like. The delays, the ground experience, also the crew at times absolutely not doing their job. 777 flight uh, to Johannesburg, that's probably going to be another adventure. It's going to be even more interesting, I reckon. This is going to be proper food service and international flight. It's a six hour flight. Um, maybe I'm going to restore my fate into airpiece um, by the end of the week. Or maybe it's just going to be another headache. Air headache. Air headache. That's the perfect name, I guess, for um, airpiece. You're welcome, you can use that name. I won't charge you for the branding consult, uh, consulting. So um, yeah, but this is it. Guys, if you wanna support my work, check out my Patreon. Link is in the description box below. You can join my WhatsApp group, my monthly Zoom sessions, get behind the scenes. It's pretty cool. We are over 200 patrons now, very proud. They're good friends. Uh, it's, uh, it's great to have you guys support me. Uh, but hit the like button. Leave a comment what you think about Airpiece. Give me a good name for Airpiece. Let's come up with something cool. And yeah, this is it. So guys, wherever you're off to, have a safe trip.